I got a call last night that I knew was coming. Stand by. I'm going to tell you all about it. Hey folks, Orlando Prepper coming at you again. I've uh, been telling my friends, especially lately, that they need to get their emergency supplies in order. Well, last night, a friend of mine that I've actually been talking to for years finally decided he would get on the bandwagon. Called me, wanting to know where he could get some food, some long-term storage food. And I told him the bad news. Right now, it's getting harder to get. And he was surprised when I told him who's buying it all. The federal government. They want all they can get. They're trying to buy it up from everybody I know. I got one friend that runs an emergency supply business. And the government has contacted him twice. Trying to buy all of his MREs and all of his dehydrated. He refuses to sell them to them. Hopefully, he'll be able to hang on to them and distribute them to people like you and me. But... If things get as bad as it looks like they might get, they might just go and take his food. The government's been known to do things like that, so hopefully it won't come to that. I come here today to tell you this because I'm telling you exactly what I told my friend. Get that food. Get what you can get. Get long-term storage food if you can. If you can't, Start scarfing up them noodles and, you know, dehydrated potatoes you see at Walmart for $1.50 a bag. Canned soups, beans, vegetables, anything you can get, canned meat, start buying it, start stocking it. Not only are you preparing for the future, but you're also saving money. Because a lot of financial experts are estimating that the cost of food is going to go up about 20% within the next 90 days. That's bad, folks. The Consumer Price Index is telling you that food is, has increased about 25 to 3%. Well, obviously, those assholes don't shop. I know everything I buy is up at least 25%, in some cases even more. So get out and do what you have to do. Get you some food. Put it back. If you can get long-term dehydrated, go for it. They're going to be expensive right now. But... I remember the days when you could buy a number 10 can of whatever kind of food you wanted for about 15 or 20 bucks. Now the meats are averaging about $65 a can. Vegetables are a little lower. They're dropping into the category of probably 50 bucks, 50 to 55 bucks. It's outrageous what they're getting for this stuff. But there's a shortage and that always drives the price up. Especially when you got one buyer trying to get it all. I don't know where this thing's going to go as far as what the situation in Ukraine, what it can turn into. It can turn bad. But I'm not here to sell fear. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to help you prepare so you won't have to fear. I've got one guy that I follow on uh, YouTube. He does videos like this, emergency preparedness videos. And for the last two weeks, all he's talked about is nuclear bombs, and fallout and, and stuff like that. I don't, I don't think it's going to get that bad here. It might, you know, but I think the odds are pretty long. Putin might be crazy, but I don't think he wants to destroy the world. I think he's just playing his hand because he knows right now the only country that will fight him that's strong enough to defeat him is weak. We have weak leadership. They're not going to step up. They're not going to do what needs to be done. They don't care. They know they're in good shape no matter what happens. They don't care about you. They don't care about me. If they did, I wouldn't be paying $1.50 more for a gallon of gas today than I did last year. This thing is getting ridiculous, folks. Don't put it off anymore. Protect yourself, protect your family, okay? Hopefully, you're just putting that food back, and in the end, you'll just wind up saving money down the road on it. We just got to pray that's what happens. So, with that, I'm going to get out of here. Um, like I said, I'm not here to sell fear. If you want information, if you want reviews on products, hit that subscribe button for me. Share this with your friends. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Hopefully, we'll all get through this okay.
So stay strong, stay patriotic, pray for our country. Orlando Prepper is out.